بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم dear students uh, today we have a second lecture of uh, chapter number 20 that is uh, 20.4 nuclear masses okay now we are discussing nuclear masses remember the mass of proton we know that 1.66 into 10 power minus 27 kilogram and mass of neutron is 1.67 into 10 power minus 27 kilogram remember uh, both have roughly, uh, roughly equal masses but the mass of neutron is a bit heavier is a uh, little bit uh, heavier than the mass of proton okay but here look at these two masses these two masses are very small masses uh look at the order 10 power minus 27 kilogram which is very very small so it means that these masses are very small and we are using the unit as kilogram kilogram is a very large unit that is the macroscopic units so for the small masses we have to use the small units so it means that for the accuracy we cannot use kilogram for the protons and neutrons so for the accuracy purposes, we should use a microscopic unit that is called the atomic mass unit or that is called the unified mass unit. We know that one unified mass is equal to 1 over 12 to mass of one carbon atom. We know that this is the relation. One unified mass is equal to 1 over 12 to the mass of one carbon atom. Let us label this equation as equation number one. Okay. Now, how we can define the mole? We know that one mole of carbon atom consists of 12 gram or 12 into 10 power minus 3 kilogram. Okay. And we know that one mole of carbon atom consists of 6.02 into 10 power 23 atoms we know that we know these relations okay now comparing the two equations the left hand side of these equations are same so their right hand side will also be same so can i write 6.02 into 10 power 23 atoms has a mass of 12 gram are 12 into 10 power minus 3 kilogram okay so 6.02 in 10 power 23 atoms consist of 12 gram or 12 in 10 power minus 3. so if we want to find the uh, mass of one atom so we should divide this figure on the both sides so divide 6.02 uh, into 10 power 23 on both sides so look at here 6.02 into 10 power 23 atoms is equal to 12 into 10 power minus 3 kilogram so divides Avogadro number on both sides so if I divide the Avogadro number on both sides so it will be cancelled so you will get one mass of one carbon atom mass of carbon atom is equal to 12 into 10 power minus 3 kilogram divided by Avogadro number okay so we found the mass of one carbon atom so putting this equation in equation number one so putting this this value putting this uh, value in equation number one look at the equation number one look at the equation number one is one uh, unified mass is equal to one over twelve to the mass of one carbon atom so putting here the mass of one carbon atom we will get equation number look at the equation number one so it is one unified mass is equal to 1 over 12 to the uh, 12 into 10 power minus 3 kilogram divided by Avogadro number okay so 12 12 will be cancelled so it will be one unified mass is equal to 1.66 into 10 power minus 27 kilogram okay so this is the relation between 
वन एटामिक मास यूनिट एंड द किलोग्राम वट इज एटामिक मास यूनिट दिस इज द यूनिट ऑफ मास विच इज कॉल्ड माइक्रोस्कोपिक यूनिट वट इज किलोग्राम किलोग्राम इज अ माइक्रोस्कोपिक यूनिट विच इज अ लार्जर यूनिट ऑफ मास ओके कैन वी राइट दिस इक्वेशन एज डिवाइड वन पॉइंट सिक्स इन टेन पर माइनस ट्वेंटी सेवन ऑन बोथ साइड सो वी विल गेट वन पॉइंट सिक्स सिक्स इंटू टेन पावर माइनस ट्वेंटी सेवन एंड इट विल बी इक्वल टू वन किलोग्राम सो वन किलोग्राम इज इक्वल टू वन ओवर वन पॉइंट सिक्स सिक्स टेन पर माइनस ट्वेंटी सेवन एटामिक मास यूनिट ओके दिस इज द रिलेशन बिटवीन एटामिक मास यूनिट एंड द किलोग्राम ओके नाउ वट वी आर गोइंग वी आर गोइंग टू कन्वर्ट द मास ऑफ द यूनिट ऑफ किलोग्राम इन टू द एटामिक मास यूनिट सो लुकेट हियर लुकेट द मास ऑफ प्रोटोन द मास ऑफ प्रोटोन इज वन पॉइंट सिक्स सिक्स इंटू टेन पावर माइनस ट्वेंटी सेवन किलोग्राम सो रिप्लेस दिस यूनिट किलोग्राम इन टू एटामिक मास यूनिट सो इट विल बी वन पॉइंट सिक्स सिक्स इंटू टेन पावर माइनस ट्वेंटी सेवन वन ओवर वन पॉइंट सिक्स सिक्स इंटू टेन पावर माइनस ट्वेंटी सेवन एटामिक मास यूनिट ओके सो दिस फिगर एंड दिस फिगर विल बी कैंसल्ड आउट सो वी विल गेट वन पॉइंट जीरो जीरो सेवन टू सेवन सिक्स एटामिक मास यूनिट सो दिस इज द मास ऑफ प्रोटोन इन एटामिक मास यूनिट ओके दिस इज द मास ऑफ प्रोटोन इन एटामिक मास यूनिट सो फाइनली वी गॉट द मास इन अ स्मेलर यूनिट सो दैट इज Uh, the final result we want so look at the mass of neutron the mass of neutron is 1.66 into 10 power minus 27 kg so replace this kilogram by atomic mass you know so we will get 1.67 10 power minus 27 kg and what is kilogram kilogram is equal to 1 atomic mass unit you know, divided by 1.66 into 10 power minus 27 okay So this figure, this figure will be cancelled. So it will be one point zero zero eight six six five atomic mass unit. So this is the mass of neutron. This is the mass of neutron. So finally, we get the mass of neutron. That is one point zero zero eight double six five atomic mass unit. Okay. So look at the values. Mass of proton is a little bit smaller than the mass of neutron. But roughly we can say that both are equal. Okay. Now I want to find the how much energy involved in one atomic mass unit. So look at here the equation is equal to m c square. This is the Einstein relation. He said that if we destroy the mass, it will be converted into energy. And uh, I am going to take um, a one atomic mass unit. So I put. the mass as one atomic mass unit and we know that what is the value of one atomic mass unit the value of one atomic mass unit is 1.66 in 10 power minus 27 kg and what is c c is 3 into 10 power 8 so we will get 931 mega electron volt so this is the energy in one atomic mass unit so finally we got the energy in one atomic mass unit so we can get the energy involved in neutron just multiplied uh, this value with 931 so we will get mass of an uh, energy in neutron is 938 mega electron volt and if you multiply this figure with 931 mega electron volt so we will get energy in proton that is 937 mega electron volt so this uh, this is the relation by which we can convert the mass into energy So if the mass is given in atomic mass unit, so we will multiply in 931 mega. So we will get energy in electron volt. So this is the simplest relation by which we can convert the mass into energy. So this is all about this topic. Um, if you have any query, any question, so you can ask in WhatsApp group or you can comment on this video. Inshallah, I'll reply. Okay, take care, Allah face.